if you would like to support my graphic arc channel you can now buy me a coffee and uh, donate you know thanks for your support enjoy this new video well hello everybody welcome back to another graphic arc video and today we will be testing out uh, the XCSS 1.2 version which was available in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart uh, there's still nothing new on uh, github from Intel for on uh, XCSS 1.2 version so uh, yeah we will be testing out the DLL file today and see if it actually works or not right now I just downloaded from github 1.1 version demo which is using obviously the XCSS lib 1.1 DLL file and uh, yeah let's quickly change here to ultra quality and uh, see what kind of frames we get okay in this case 205 fps is the average now let's see if we close this down uh, replace the DLL file with from the ratchet and clank and go here to details and check if it's 1.2 it is 1.2 now we start the XCSS demo again and see if it works oh look at this guys bottom left corner we have xcss sdk version 1.2 so uh something must be working right right let's see if we change to ultra quality now here uh am i seeing this correctly guys could it be that we, lo we lost about 15 fps just by replacing the dll file from 1.1 to 1.2 huh I saw that uh, uh, XCSS 1.2 version will work differently because uh, in Ratchet and Clank it's only one DLL file available but before we got for you know the XEFX loader and stuff but yeah let's uh, confirm this if we get any FPS loss by uh, doing a quick benchmark here on Returnal huh? Yeah, let's benchmark and see if we get better FPS or lower FPS with uh, 1.1 or 1.2 hmm? let's see what happens uh, so uh, guys as we can see XCSS 1.2 version is giving us 1 FPS more than uh, 1.1 in a return <laughs> so <laughs> there goes that uh, but I think the image quality it's more better than uh, on 1.1 though uh, it's what I noticed, I will leave a link down in the description below so you can compare a still shot from 1.1 and 1.2 in the Returnal and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if there's any changes in the graphical quality when replacing the DLL file though uh, I suspect that uh, XCSS 1.2 is working differently than 1.1 so uh, simply replacing the DLL file uh, to the older version won't work I think I I think because so uh, when we tested the XCSS demo there it clearly showed that 1.2 is being used and we got less FPS so I'm not sure uh, why but uh, yeah later on in the Ratchet and Clank video I will show you something so uh, to confirm this fact that uh, XCSS 1.2 version is working a little bit differently than 1.1 but uh, you know intel will confirm more once they actually put more info on their xcss github page currently it's still 1.1 the latest version so uh, yeah did uh, intel forgot to update us with uh, xcss 1.2 why is it available in ratchet and clank and we didn't hear any news about it hmm? intel please give us some more update on what actually changed in 1.2 uh in comparison with 1.1 so uh, yeah i sure hope they will update their github page sooner or later and uh, we will see what actually changed but uh yeah guys uh, as we can see uh, we got uh, the same fps as before uh, i do have one yeah. i won't bother showing you the results let's just uh, quickly move on to formula one as we all know Formula 1 is also using XCSS, so um, yeah, let's test it out, hmm, shall we? Because in the native, uh, you know, OG version, original version, the XCSS 1.1 is being used in this game, which we already tested it out in the video that I recorded like a week ago before I went on my holiday. But yeah, let's see if uh, XCSS 1.2 will give any difference in Formula 1. You know what do you say? 
I think uh, this uh, XSS 1.2 update will again be more uh, focused on image stabilization and uh, you know showing more detail in uh, graphical quality rather than uh, giving us more FPS which uh, I mean it's perfectly fine because if they update you know image quality in XSS we can then use balanced mode and uh, would look way better than before on 1.1 but it would give us more FPS you know that's how upscaling works we all know how it works and uh, yeah as we can compare the FPS graphs right here in this section we get 46 FPS 44 on both sides of XSS testing so uh, we can clearly confirm that either XSS 1.2 will boost FPS from like 1 to 2 but the image quality I'm sure it will be better you know I can't really confirm right now if this also worked here but uh, yeah because I think XSS 1.2 has a different way of uh, engaging I mean <laughs> activating than 1.1 because at XSS 1.2 like I said before we only got one DLL file but at 1.1 we got four DLL files so uh, yeah I mean look at these guys here we get two more FPS so there must be something going on it could just be margin of error you know it could also just be that my uh, Intel graphic card uh, took less power when uh, locally recording. I didn't use Elgato in this case, so uh, FPS drop uh, is a bit, uh, you know, uh, expected to be here. But since we are comparing side by side the XSS versions, should be fine. But yeah, let's see the end result now when the, the benchmark run finishes and uh, see if we get any better FPS or not. Uh, do note the video footage is from 1.1 version, not from 1.2, because, uh, yeah, I decided like so. <laughs> Anyways, this is XCSS 1.1, maximum FPS 59. Let's quickly check then, uh, yeah, let's see if uh, XCSS 1.2 version will give us any boost. We got the average 48 in 1.1. Now, if we check on 1.2, see? 60 fps uh, minimum fps was a little bit better but uh, yeah not much difference from 1.21 so yeah let's move on to ratchet and clank this one also has 1.2 you know we got the dlf file 1.2 over here and uh, currently i'm running here this quick scene i will compare 1.1 with 1.2 running here catching our guy there and uh, see if there's any performance difference but uh, hmm. here we go guys we get about 60 fps average this is maximum setting with ray tracing on uh, just uh, ray tracing set to high not on uh, very high and then look at this smooth gameplay we get about 60 fps average it uh, hmm, ratchet and clank works really good on our interarc graphic cards man i'm surprised that it works this good works better than a 2080 ti <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, what happens actually if we replace uh, XCSS to 1.1? Here we go. I just replaced the DLL files, all of the DLL files. I mean, one lib XCSS DLL file went inside the game. And uh, yeah, here's a quick run on how it uh, works on 1.1. We get about what? 10 FPS less? Could this be? Huh? Remember here at 1.2 we were getting about 60 FPS, but now it dropped to like 40, 42, look at it, 15 FPS less. What is going on? Does XCSS even work in this case? Hmm? I don't think so, because uh, it looks more like a native <laughs> uh, resolution than an upscaled one, but... Uh, huh. We got here before 58, 60 FPS, but right now when we are battling these guys, look at these drops, guys. 40 FPS, 45 FPS. What is going on? It's still working smooth, you know, when you use V-Sync and uh, FreeSync. It, it works smooth, and especially when I modded the VRR range to 35 Hz. This was fine. But uh, you know what? Let's quickly go check here into the options and see if it's using XSS. It's off. Wait, what? It's not even available? Oh my god. 
Oh no, so uh, 1.1 is not working in the Ratchet and Clank. I did try replacing all four DLL files from 1.1 on my NVIDIA system and the game booted, but uh, on Intel Arc it just crashed before it even started, so... <laughs> Thanks for watching another graphic arc video, I hope you learned something new just like I did. We need to wait uh, for Intel to release XCSS 1.2 and we will then again compare, compare if it works or not. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, make sure you like, subscribe, you know the drill and uh, we will see you in the next one guys. Peace out, have a great day, weekend and uh, probably see you tomorrow in another video. Bye bye.